hi guys and welcome back to my channel for another planner related video so i just jumped on the planner bandwagon on the like i've always been a planner person but on the more like serious planner bandwagon and i've been looking up tons of videos and i thought i would show you guys these two um kind of diy hack type things to for your planner so you don't have to spend the money so first it's going to be a um, reusable to-do list that you can put into your planner now i ordered the hole punch for um to go with my planner but i still haven't got it but you'll see it obviously at the end of this video but i just went online and found a basic to-do list printable and i printed it out and the reason i printed four was so that i have one on one side and one on the other and so i can flip it back and forth and so i'm just going to cut this out okay so my happy planner is the um mini happy planner and so i just cut these and you see it's not going to be the full size of the page but i can fit it right into there and i'm going to use these laminating self laminating sheets that i bought at the dollar tree a long time ago and i never used them but i knew i would one day have a use for them so this is bigger than this um but i'm probably going to leave it that size because i am going to use a marker to write on this one that erases um, that you can erase with water um, so it's like more of a permanent marker but then it erases so it won't just smudge off like the dry erase one and so even if there's space around I can still write stuff also I want more space so that I can make the holes into the laminating and not into the list so as I said I've never used this before so this is going to be the first time hopefully it's good if not then I will just get it regularly laminated um, but this seems to work so it kind of tells you right there how it works um laminate in three easy steps place the card a photo centered under clear sheet face down bend backing sheet to separate backing with with downward pressure smooth and seal the edges so we are going to do that now and my cricket tool so I have to read this again because you know okay. under clear sheet so I uh, since I want it two-sided I'm just gonna go like this and I should have cut them evenly so it's two-sided We're going to put it right in the center. This way the holes can be along this too, like I just said. Then you're going to take out to that backing. Oh, that's what it said. Bend, bend backing sheet to separate backing. So slowly put it on. smooth it out once I get the hole punch I'll show you I'll punch the holes in the side and it'll fit right I'm probably gonna cut that out because it's gonna bother me so we're gonna cut let's see what happens when you cut okay it didn't open so that's good and it's pretty sturdy and so once I put the holes in it I can put it right here in my planner and it'll be inside my planner and it'll be my daily to-do list and then I can have it in the back as well and I saw another um, video and someone suggested this certain marker that I will link down below that like I said it writes like a permanent marker but you use water to take it out so that'll be perfect because I literally write the same to-do list almost every day. I was going to have it typed there, those certain things, but I didn't. Um, so up here, I can put to-do and maybe to buy or whatever. Um, once I put the holes in it, then I will see if I trim it a little more. 
but pretty much that is it and then now you have two sides and I'm gonna do the same thing to this one so that I have two so I can put one here I can put one back here and make one my to-do list one my to-buy list you know whatever list also I can just take it out so this way oh I got home I'm taking out my to-do list putting my planner away and I have this with me till the end of the day and yes that is Avery screaming mommy because she wants me to go lay with her <laughs> So now my next hack includes, and again, I saw these online. I thought I would share them with you. So this is my happy planner and these tabs, well, this is the cover, but these tabs here are really cute and nice and they separate things and then they have these cute little folders. Um, so I'm going to do a DIY on how to make one of these tabs and now they sell them in like a three pack for I don't know how much, but you can simply make them. So I'm going to take this out so I can use this as a reference. Let me just leave that open and I have this is what I was using for my old planner type thing notebook I also bought this notebook at the Dollar Tree a long time ago and so since I won't be using this anymore I'm just going to rip out this tab and use this so what I'll do is I will measure it like this cut it out And now I'm gonna erase that obviously but now I have a tab that can fit right into my planner once I put the holes in it when I get my hole punch tomorrow and it'll be right in my planner and I can separate something else and I can put stickers and stuff or write things to buy you see it cut it off it cut it out but I can decorate this with stickers or you know I can put my be happy stamp or whatever and decorate it to my liking I also can use one of these other ones Avery wrote on it don't mind that and I can make a pocket on it I am not I am gonna use all the ones in here um, as dividers for in here and now I can have the same dividers in here so I'm gonna jazz them up a little bit cut them down and this cutting wasn't too straight but you get the point and this is the perfect way to save a few bucks because I spent a dollar on this notebook and what it had one two three four four tabs in it for a dollar technically and then all this paper oh no there's five tabs I forgot the first one this paper you can also use and do the same exact thing cut it down make holes in it with the hole punch and put it in the planner which why to me I feel like the hole punch is um, worth it if you buy it and use a coupon like I did because you can just cut holes into anything and put them into your planner even um, you, the where's the to do list I made to do list Even this to-do list, I can actually just get a to-do list pack from Dollar Tree. The, you know, the ones that they sell, the roll of paper, not roll, you know, the little notepads of paper. And I can cut it out and laminate that and make that uh, my to-do list in here that I can use. Those are the two hacks that I found were good for me right now that I can do to save myself a couple of dollars and jazz up my, my planner a bit as I'm still learning and figuring things out. You see, this is kind of how you would make the pocket learning and figuring things out and figuring out how to do my planner. So let me know if you want to see a kind of how I set up my planner and what I plan on doing and all that with my planner. I've been watching tons of videos and trying to get all these ideas and I just really wanted to share these two with you. So this is the hole punch that comes for the planner and it's the Create 365. I got it at Michael's 
and I used a coupon so definitely use a coupon this is how I decorated the inserts for now I just put the sticker and the letters it said YouTube and then this one said things to buy and I already put the holes in those and this one said Cricut for my Cricut idea stuff and these two are still blank I still don't know what I'm gonna put on them but now I'm gonna put the hole punches in them so that I can fit it right into my planner so you can pretty much do this with anything um, that you want to be stuck into your planner not stuck because you can remove it but here I'm just lining it up with the other ones so that I know exactly where to put the holes and so that it's all even and I did kind of mess up and made the first holes a little bigger so I don't recommend doing it this way but I had one hand and that's how I did it and I messed it up but I cut it and just redid it. Anyway, here it is all done. There's the holes and you just simply put it in to the planner. I definitely recommend getting this hole puncher, um, but definitely use a coupon because it is pretty pricey without one. So there I put it in and now I have my things to buy and my Cricut one and it's all right in my planner and I just, use the divider so because of the hole punch and the using my old notebook to make these dividers um i made them instead of buying them and like i said you can do that with a lot of different ones um papers or pretty much anything so for watching subscribe if you haven't already and happy planning